Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to install an interview alarm, and we're particularly going to see how to install a Texacom panel. So I'll be briefly explaining about Texacom panel, and then also we'll be connecting a siren, keypad, and a PAR. You can see this is a Texacom panel, and to start with, I'm going to explain you about the connectors, and we call them terminals. And you have battery, battery connection and then you have DG output which is 100 millivolt output which can be programmed to activate different devices such as your speech dialer and so on then you have network normally we'll use um, network terminals to connect to your keypad and then you have network 2 now this is a premier 48 panel so we don't have any connectors for there but then you might also get network connectors in some panels uh, so you have network 1 and network 2 then you have auxiliary auxiliary is where you're going to get power uh, for any devices um, that require powers devices such as PAR and your uh, smoke deductors and so on um, I'll go back to the network again then network you have plus and minus you will now use them to power your um, keypad then you have network D and R uh, we call them um, uh, transmitted and received so it's basically to connect the data. Now when you come here, you've got the Texacom um, zone. Uh, you have zone one, zone two, zone three, and it goes up to zone eight. Now where I said Texacom is concerned, you can do the double pole or end of line. So you have two terminals for alarm and two terminals for tamper. And on the, uh, on the right hand side, you have the SAP connection where you connect your ba um, bell and the power would be sort of taken from this outlet you have a bell fuse here one amp fuse and um, so you have 12 volt bell which is which will be connected to the sound in the bell you got tamper zero volt and strobe you might have to do a, a loop uh, between zero volt and tamper then you have auxiliary which auxiliary will be sort of uh, to use any 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 devices which are uh, connected and then which need power and the power can be monitored via auxiliary circuit you have speaker 1 speaker 2 or speaker plus and minus and op uh, minus and op um, 2 minus um, then you have I'll explain you about op in the next session and then you have alternative um, uh, c telephone connection now what you got to remember with the texture com panel you have to buy the com unit and then connect that to your main so they don't normally come with the main panel and this is uh, a Texacom PAR and what you see here is you've got tamper, tamper, uh, alarm, alarm, 12 volt ground and um, LED terminal um, if you see the tamper one um, you've got two terminals for tamper, two terminals for alarm and you have zero volt and, 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 and also the power um, th this, this one can be used um, as a double pole or end of line um, so you have the jumper setting which you could set the resistance level um, you can also set the LED whether you want the LED to work or whether you want the LED to be switched off all the time uh, pulse count and so on can be tested and this is your tamper switch um, if you're using a double pole what you'll be doing is you'll be connecting alarm to alarm um, alarm and alarm two terminals and that will be connected to your two terminals in the motherboard and then you got tamper tamper that will be connected to tamper tamper and the auxiliary, uh, the power would be taken from the auxiliary output and that's all you have to do.